Guys, there are a few things worse than trying to enjoy yourself by playing a video game only to turn on your PlayStation and find that something has been corrupted or broken. Happened to me about six months ago um, when I was trying to boot up, play some Red Dead 2, and it stuck. So, it has been my mission the last six months or so to understand the PlayStation a lot more and see what I could do to get you back in the game. Today's video, we are going to be covering error code SU-41333-4. Uh, this was sent in by somebody in the comments section, and essentially when he tries to boot up his PlayStation, it's giving him an error code, not letting him move forward. Uh, we researched it, looks like for the most part, it's a pretty simple fix, so let's go ahead and jump in. What we're gonna need is your broken console and a controller. Because we're gonna be in the safe mode, you are also going to need a USB cable to connect the two. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is boot the console in safe mode. And we do that by holding down the power button uh, for at least seven seconds. You'll hear it beep that first time. Continue to hold down the power button until you hear it beep the second time. Then you can go ahead and release it and it will bring you to the safe mode screen. So let's go ahead and jump over to the monitor and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so you can see here that in the safe mode menu, it's telling us that we need to connect a DualShock controller using a USB cable, then press the PlayStation button, and then it takes us to our safe mode here. Now in the safe mode, we have a variety of options. Um, and the ones that we're gonna be focusing on for this fix are options five, six, and seven. Now, in some of the other videos we've made, we've talked about rebuilding the database. And this can potentially solve the issue that we're having today and is the easiest step to follow. I would recommend doing that first. Um, to rebuild the database, you would go ahead and select option five and click OK to rebuild the database. Uh, what that's going to do is search the hard drive on your PlayStation for corrupt files and delete those. Now typically with this option, um, data is not erased from the hard drive. Everything is just cleaned up and optimized. And hopefully by doing that and rebooting the hard drive, it will clear whatever is causing that error and you'll be able to log in normally. Now be aware that this step can take up to a few hours depending on how much stuff you have on your hard drive. Um, so just be prepared to let it do its thing. If for some reason uh, you go through and rebuild the database and that doesn't fix the problem, you're gonna go ahead and boot into safe mode again. And this time we are going to select initialize the PS4. Uh, it will be option six. And what that's going to do is essentially nuke your hard drive on your PlayStation. This will erase all your save data all your games, any music or movies you have from the hard drive, everything will be deleted and your PlayStation will be reset to initial factory settings. Now fortunately, um, you can re-download any games you may have and I will have a link to how to do that in the description of this video. It's very simple. And you will be able to back up most of your games uh, and retrieve that saved data if you are a PlayStation Plus member. And I will also post a link on how to retrieve your saved data from the cloud uh, in the description of this video. Um, so if I were to be initializing, I would go ahead and select yes. It will take me through a series of loading bars and then it will take me to essentially the first screen as if I had just bought this PlayStation fresh out of the box. I'll be able to set up my account, log into my PlayStation uh, network account, and get a lot of those things back. Now, um, if for some reason initializing the PS4 using option number six doesn't work, then we will have to do it using option number seven. And this is a little bit more in depth. This requires a thumb drive uh, and we will create a boot drive that the PlayStation can read and use that information to reinstall the system software. 
Now option seven, because it's more detailed, I have created a whole video on how to do option number seven, and I will link that in the description. Um, but those will hopefully fix anything that you're running into. Like I say, I would start with option five, then if that didn't work, move to option six, and finally, if that doesn't work, move to option seven. I would love to make more of these videos. Let me know what issues you're running into and I will help get you guys back online. Appreciate you watching, subscribing, and we will catch you next time.